Moving on to another important story, it's day two of the devastating floods in Vermont, which has left people homeless and businesses stranded. With Biden administration federal emergency uh, at place uh, in the city, the conditions continue to remain grim. Worry remains as the upstream Wrightsville Dam initially holding its maximum capacity of water near the spillway point, after which nearby areas will be partially, if not fully, submerged. Rescue efforts are on in place in Vermont, where swift water rescue teams uh, are in place to evacuate dozens of people who are trapped inside their homes. The flooding has already caused tens of millions of dollars damage throughout the state, there have been no reports of injuries or deaths related to the flooding in Vermont yet. Meanwhile, much of the focus remains on reopening of roadways, checking of isolated homeowners and cleaning out the mud and debris from waterlogged businesses. President Biden, on the other hand, is helping coordinate disaster relief efforts and provide assistance to the severely affected in the area. Earlier today, while overseas, President Biden approved my request for disaster declaration for all 14 counties. This will help mobilize federal resources to support our response and recovery efforts for this unfolding and ongoing disaster. Floodwaters continue to rise in some places, like our capital city, and have surpassed levels seen during Tropical Storm Irene. Irene. Uh, had about a 12-hour duration of, uh, of rain, and uh, then it was over. The sun came up, everyone went out, we were able to assess the damage, everything was receding, and uh, we went uh, back uh, towards uh, the recovery phase. This is different. Um, we've had uh, like 48 hours of steady rain, of that same intense rain that we saw during Irene, so four times the amount of rain. Uh, and, uh, and again, we had rain previous to that that we didn't have during Irene. So the, the ground was already saturated um, for, for this storm, and it's been raining ever since. Uh, and that's why I'm very concerned uh, about the next few days. Uh, we will have the sun uh, coming out this afternoon. Uh, people will think this is over, but it's not over because uh, the rivers could still rise. Uh, the water has to go someplace. The reservoirs are filling up. My colleague Abhishek Jha is joining us on the broadcast. Abhishek, uh, across the world, the effects of global warming and climate change are visible. We have seen the severe floods that have been witnessed in Vermont. Uh, give, us a, give us a sense of the rescue and relief operations. What has the federal government said? What kind of efforts are underway right now? Uh, so clearly, uh, we were uh, having those uh, officials telling how the impact of flood has been, but the crisis is still not over because the dam, uh, the Riceville Dam over the Winniski River, is still, uh, you know, it, it is very much at its peak level, and it has not overspilled yet. But they are still waiting for the, uh, you know, uh, the water that is still flowing downstream to the dam, and whether it will spill, then it will create a lot of mayhem. Uh, already, almost the entire ground floor of many houses, many. Uh, you know, habitations across Vermont has been inundated and there is a huge uh, flood that is still to be, uh, I mean, people are still trying to recover or salvage whatever property they had lost. Uh, fortunately, there has not been much of the uh, loss of life because uh, the reports are that there was one lady who was swept away in the flood. Uh, there has been damage. Uh, in, uh, the properties have been uh, damaged. The cars, like in uh, dozens of cars have been washed away, swept away in, at various locations. But uh, thankfully, uh, the property's damage uh, is being assessed by the officials. Uh, so far, there has not been many uh, casualties on, on this uh, front. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we have, to, we have to understand the fact that uh, within 48 hours, Vermont received almost uh, two months worth of rain. The same situation has happened in, uh, in, the, in the northern states of India, where within 48 hours, uh, these states received almost one-third the rain that they would uh, expect in the entire year of monsoon. So clearly, uh, probably the climatic change or the shift uh, in the weather patterns it has started impacting our everyday life. And uh, these are the some of examples of natural calamities that are impacting and that are being caused by those climatic and uh, weather change patterns. All right. Uh, my colleague Abhishek Jha getting us all the details and perspective on this. Thank you, Abhishek, for joining us on the broadcast and getting us a sense. Well, um, as we talk about what's happening in Vermont and the situation there, uh, what the agencies are doing and what kind of rescue and relief operations are underway, here's a special report. Have a look.
Back up there where there's... Yeah. Okay. One second, one second, one second. Stay alive. Back up! Thank you.